Uh, we're joined by members of the Texas A&M Commerce volleyball team in the middle. We have the field Craig Pace. To his left, Jasmine Wacker. To his right, Savannah Rutledge. And Coach, we'll just uh, begin with your general comments from the match. Well, you know, I mean, Charles is a good team. And, uh, you know, they make they make you do a lot of things you don't want to. And, um, you know, I've, the, you know, we, we talked about we talked about this a lot with our team. I mean, this is the type of volleyball we signed up for. You know, playing good teams and, and being in a good environment, and and uh, you know, just didn't didn't go our way tonight. And you know, my hat my hat's off to Carlton. I mean, they did they did everything they needed to do to win this match, and and to stop us from doing what we needed to do to win this match. And so, you know, I told my team in the locker room I loved them, I was proud of them, and and you know, it was a fun match to be a part of. And somebody's got to win, and somebody's got to lose. And unfortunately, tonight it was our turn. Jasmine, as a senior, when you came to Commerce, obviously that they had it had been a while since a regional appearance. Mm -hmm. You now had two in a row and to make it to a regional final. Talk about your career and, and how special it's been to be able to, to get Commerce to this point. Um, I can't even be, begin to describe um, what that journey has been like um, coming from our freshman year. Um, there wasn't really much talk of a ring. It was we were excited to get into the conference tournament. And then last year we were like, it's our ring season and just believing that wholeheartedly. And then the second year it was instantly ingrained in us, you know, from that junior year. Um, and to see everyone truly buy in this year, it was amazing. Um, it was all that I could ask for from any of my teammates. Uh, Savannah, just your thoughts on on the championship match, uh, you know, and, and just uh, or match from your perspective. Um, before we went into the match, we just talked about to play as a team. Um, we definitely had some adversities. We had some injuries here and there, but I felt like the players that needed to step up did really well, and they stepped up this whole tournament and last tournament. So um, I'm just really proud that we did play as a team. That was our goal. So um, like Coach said, Charlton's a really good team. Um, kind of stinks that in championship match, you got to lose to a conference game. Kind of stinks. Played them like a hundred times, <laughs> so it was tough. But I'm just really glad we played played as a team and just gave it our whole hearts out there. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> like for sure. Uh, just up against all the other conferences, I definitely think that we're the best ones. So finishing the way we did, it hurts a lot, but. We had an amazing season, and I love this team, every single player on it. Um, I'm sad to see the seniors go, but one more year for me, so. Uh, Coach, talk about the, the group of returners you have coming back and the excitement that looks to be appropriate. Oh, man, I, I don't know. I, you know, I haven't thought about it a whole lot. Um, you know, I'm going to echo back a little bit, you know, what Savannah said, and, and it's just Lone Star Conference is just such a fun league to play in, and, you know, we've – Carlton and us and Angelo and WT and, and Kings. I mean, everybody in our league has done really well against the other conferences. And it was just a lot of fun this year being a part of that. And, you know, and, and having to play Carlton four times, you know, you got number one and number two. I mean, that's that's how you're going to have to settle it. And so it was, it, was a, it was a lot of fun. But, you know, I think, you know, I think I'm not going to worry about next year's team just yet. Um, you know, we've got, we've got some celebrating to do. I mean, we had – we had an incredible season for a team that was picked fourth, that no one cared about. We had one first team all conference for summer. We had, I mean, we had nothing going our way all year, and somehow we found a way to, to win 30 matches. We found a way to be 29 and two or whatever we were in five setters. I mean, we we had a, a really fun season, and, and I couldn't be more proud of our team. And, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to celebrate this team and enjoy the rest of this night. Program into one that's going to be here for the next couple of years, even after the 
Um, it really does start with the team culture, uh, being able to hold each other accountable. Um, every year our team has been close. Um, we've all been able um, to come at each other and be like, hey, I need you to pick it up. And we know it's coming from a place of love. And every year we've gotten stronger together. Um, and I think that the stronger the relationships we had from the year before, it just gets better and better every single year. Um, so it really was just a team effort and like the culture was built into this program. Um, so that will continue into the next um, years. I am positive of that. So now you're coming back next year, senior year. Talk about what you can use from this experience to take this volleyball program a little bit further next year as you try, try to once again get back to this, this uh, stage. Um, so kind of what Jaslyn was saying, I feel like commerce as a whole um, just improves like every year. So we made it this far. Sweet 16 was awesome. Um, but we're going to make Elite Eight next year. So yeah. I'm just really excited for the future, honestly. Like, it hurts a lot to see the seniors go, some of my best friends. But um, I'm just excited. Like, hungry is a great word for that. I want to I jump in on Jazz. And, you know, we, every, every match for about 15 minutes, all I do is I think about all the alums. And in, everything that we did this year has been built on the back of other players. In five years from now, we're going to be talking about Jazz and Savannah, and, and everything that those players have is going to be built on those alums. And, and we're foolish if we sit up here and think it was just this team, because it was last year's team that got us in the East Middles here for the first time. It was the, the team before that that got us this close, that made us hungry. It was all the teams that, that have had faith in our culture since I've been here. Without without all the players we've had since I've gotten here, we're not sitting here. And without a great athletic administration, we're not sitting here. Without a great university administration, we're not sitting here. I mean, this is a collective achievement. And again, we're, we're going to celebrate this as a group and as a team and as a school. And whatever we got to do, we're going to celebrate it because this is a great season.